Sport Gay Podcast. Dom Jamali here. What's up? What's up, you guys? Back with another Pretty Little Liars video. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. I told y'all I have a video for y'all every week. I messed up, but I'm back. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm at work right now, so y'all might hear all types of noises. I'm eating. Y'all might hear me smacking in your ear. I'm I'm sorry. I'm, I'm apologizing ahead of time. At, at least y'all get in the video. At least y'all know I love you. Okay. Pretty Little Liars. Today, I'm coming to talk about the relationships. I have been doing some thinking. And I've been thinking about how much I want Toby and Spencer <laughs> to not be together <laughs> after this dang time jump. And in my mind, I'm going through, you know, the reasons why. And so I thought it would be an interesting video to go through all of the relationships and why I think they're right for each other and not and whatever, whatever. So here we are. Oh, hold on, y'all. Look, y'all. Look, like I said, I'm at work. Don't be alarmed if y'all hear something. But uh, <laughs> back to the video. Um... Okay, Toby and Spencer. Don't want to sit here all day. Okay, Toby and Spencer. Toby is not right for Spencer. I mean, point blank, period. We all see it. We all know it. We all feel it. She knows it. She feels it. <laughs> if that wasn't the case, she wouldn't have cheated on uh old boy three times. Didn't she cheat on him with three different dudes or something like that? Come on now. She know it. Deep down. And this is why. Spencer's the type of girl. Spencer's a very strong woman she's strong she's independent and i'm not saying that the other girls are not i'm not <laughs> but we all know that she's a natural leader blah 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 spencer needs the type of man who is going to hmm, how can i explain this she needs the type of man who is going to not necessarily put her in her place but to to keep her on her toes, to 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 put her in a place. I mean, I wish I could find a better way to say it, but y'all know what I mean. I'm not talking abuse. I'm not talking over aggressive. I'm not, you know, I'm not talking anything like that. But just put 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 his foot down. You know, make her work. For, Toby's not that dude. We all know it. We all feel it. Like I said, she knows it. He's not that dude. Uh, a perfect example is Johnny. Johnny had her doing all types of stuff. Now, we all know Spencer is the type of chick to, to run up in some place and pick a lock. We all know she that type of girl. But she had he had her doing all types of stuff. Remember when they, you know, was first meeting and, and the way they would, you know, have conversation? And remember that one time that, uh, you know, he was building that stupid thing that you could talk and then hear and the damn thing? Y'all know what I'm talking about. And uh, Spencer was like, oh, you know, tell me what it is. Tell me how it works. And he was like, well, I don't know that. Y'all know I don't know the damn lines. But basically he said, I'm not going to give you the answers. You got to figure it out yourself, basically. And, uh, you know, she said something snarky, and he came back with something even snarkier. That's the type of guy she needs. And remember after that, she was just all over. I mean, she wasn't all over Johnny, but you could tell from the way they would exchange you, the exchange words, the way they would converse, okay, you could under, you could see, you could see that she really wanted him, you know what I'm saying, like, he made her want him, Toby don't do that, don't nobody want Toby, don't nobody want him, <laughs> Toby needs the type of girl, let's see, Toby needs, Toby needs a wholesome girl, Toby, <laughs> Toby needs a girl from a religious girl from the country, the countryside. That's the type of girl he needs. The type of girl who who naturally is submissive and, and she's not a leader and she she's a I don't want to say a follower, but y'all know what I'm saying. Because he's not a natural leader. When you're with a woman who's a natural because men are natural leaders. But we have women who are, you know, dominant and natural leaders as well. When you are with a woman who's a natural leader, you can't be intimidated by that. You have to know that 
I'm the man in this relationship. You know, like you have to know that. You have to understand that. You have to put your foot down and you have to let her know and make her understand that. Toby doesn't do that. Toby falls short. <laughs> we all know it. We all see it. She knows it. She sees it. Look. Even even the uh even the uh counselor had her on her toes. Come on, y'all. Don't don't have me preaching up in here, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Even the counselor, and y'all know I love the counselor. Y'all know I love him. But he he was older, and he was able to teach her because we all know Spencer likes learning, and she likes taking in information. He was able to to kind of teach her things and lead her and guide her. That's also a, a, she she needs an older dude, and Toby is older, but he ain't that much older. She need an older dude, and I don't mean 80, okay? <laughs> but y'all know what I'm saying. She needs someone who's smart. Not necessarily smarter than her, but knows things. Like, who has just lived. And Johnny was like that, too. He has lived. He's also book smart, you know. They can go toe for toe for that with that. But he's lived. He's seen in Paris. He's seen this. He's seen... So he can tell her things from just experience. He can teach her, lead her, and guide her from just experience. That's the type of guy that Spencer needs. Don't y'all? I need to be a relationship expert. I do. Because I, look, y'all, I understand it so well. Okay, let's move on. I don't want to stay on Toby's fool, foolish, clownish self for too long. Okay, Hannah and Caleb. Hit them real quick. Okay, Hannah and Caleb. Hannah and Caleb are perfect for each other. I mean, we all see it, we all know it. <laughs> They see it, they know it, Jack. It's just what it is. Caleb. Hmm. Hannah is a girly girl. She's submissive. Where Caleb is not necessarily a manly man. But Caleb a thug. You know what I'm saying? Like we all know that relationship where it's like the thug and the and the little the little girl that oh yeah, we all know that relationship. That's kind of the relationship they have. Caleb Caleb is thuggish rugged. We all know it. One more he's sleeping up in the school and robbing people. Caleb is thuggish rugged. He may not be that thuggish rugged anymore. He done cleaned up his act. Hannah done cleaned up his act, and that's another thing. That's another thing they got. She done she done polished them all. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, which is a good aspect to their relationship. But he he's thuggish ruggish and she's the, the, the girly girl, the pretty girl. And he she she lets him. Whereas with Spencer, you kinda gotta not take it, but you kinda gotta convince her without without being overly aggressive, but just naturally let her know. I'm running this. You're not. Whereas with Hannah is is just gonna you're a man so she's just gonna fall into you. Caleb is you know she she like I'm thuggish ruggish because Travis was kind of thuggish ruggish too and that's why that's that's my bag. Uh, I love Caleb too, but <laughs> but uh shit what was I saying? Okay, Caleb is thuggish ruggish. He's like I said he's not manly man manly man 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 but he is a man like we all know Caleb is a man he don't with his girl. He going to go out and fuck you up, okay? We've seen it. And because of that, Hannah can fall into him. You know, you know, y'all know what I'm saying? She can fall into him and she feels safe. That, see, that's what Toby, that's what Toby and Spencer ain't got. I'm sorry to take it back to that. Y'all know I hate them together. <laughs> she should be able to do that. You know, she should be able to fall into him. Even though she's a leader, she dominant, she running the game. She should be able to fall into her man and feel safe. And with Toby, she can't goddamn do it and do that. And and that's sad. But like I said, Hannah and Kayla, we all know they perfect for each other. Uh, Ezra and Arya. Whew, this is a tricky one. Because <laughs> he's a teacher and he's like 50 and she's like 12. Um, I like, I like their dynamic other than the age other than the age i like them aria's aria's a natural mother and and when i say mother 
she she has the nurturing, she has the compassion, she has all of that. But I'm saying like like fifties mother, stay home, cook, take care of the kid. That's that's the vibe I get from her. Y- y'all know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all get that same vibe. She she comes off that way. She has that type of personality. So, of course, naturally, she would need a man who is like a 50s type of man. Y'all know what I'm saying? I I can see, because we know that ho- not the Halloween episode, the damn shadow play. I could actually see them back in that day, back in that time, you know, really, really being like that. I could see that because she she's just that type of woman. She cooks for him. She cleans for him. Baby, you sick. You know what I'm saying? Let me wipe your forehead with a cold cloth. She, she that type of woman. You know, and, and I don't even see Arya being the type of woman that's... Now, of course, we ain't in the 1950s, so of course she's going to have a job. But I don't even really see that for her. I see her staying home, taking care of the kids, and doing, like, art or something on the side. She just comes off as that type of woman where... Ezra, Ezra's not really the manly, manly, manly man either, but they just work. They're like married couple. They're like 1950s married couple. That's the only way I can like explain it. I hope y'all are getting it. It, it, He, she, she's just naturally his wife. He's naturally the husband. It's, It's not even like they're dating anymore. It's not high school. And, and also she's, She's an old soul, which basically goes back to my point about, you know, me feeling like she's 1950s wife. She's an old soul, and he's an old soul. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, they, F dating. We done skipped over dating. They, they're married, okay? And, and they, they just, their dynamic works so well. It works so well. Um, it just works so well. It just works so freaking well. I mean, that's that's all I can say about them. I hope y'all understood. I was trying to, you know, make it clear, but it, it's hard to explain. But I can just, husband and wife is all I see with them. That's all I see. Okay, Emily. Who is Emily even with? Okay, because every time we watch, every episode we see, she with a different girl. I'm going to just go with Paige because Paige was the last one. That she was actually with with for a good amount of time. Okay, Paige. I didn't. Uh, okay, I didn't like Paige. She was she was really really annoying, and uh, I don't really think anybody likes Paige. The uh, one thing that really confused me about their relationship is I couldn't tell. Who was the? I'm sorry, y'all. Like I said, I'm at work. I can't. I can't do too much work. But I couldn't tell who was who was the B in the relationship. I couldn't tell. And with girls, with girls is different. With girls is 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 funny because it's it's not always as clear and cut as you know who's who's more dominant, who's more submissive. It's not always clear cut. Sometimes it is, and sometimes it's not. But I. In any given situation, I couldn't tell. I just assumed that Paige was the one because she would always wear the suit and blah, 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 which doesn't mean anything to all my lesbians out there. I'm not putting y'all in boxes. <laughs> Please know this. I'm just saying. She would wear the suit, so, you know, you would just assume. But I don't know. She just, yeah, she, she didn't. Emily's also another one you gotta put in her place, but Emily's different. Emily's not, Emily's not like Spencer. Emily's the type of one that you do need to say shut up. You do need to say sit down. With Spencer, you can't do that. With Spencer, now let me let me explain, y'all. With Spencer, I feel like if if well, let's not use Toby. <laughs> if if Johnny was like shut up and sit down, Spencer would look at this fool like he was crazy. Whether she loved him and, and, and they had that, that whole Hannah and Caleb or Arya and whatever, she would look at him like she she's not she's not to be tamed. She's not to be tamed. Emily, on the other hand, is a very dominant, independent woman, just like the rest, like Spencer. But I feel I feel like Emily is the type where she will have the relationship like um 
like Caleb and Hannah and and the, and the dude or the girl or whatever <laughs> sorry <laughs> would tell her to shut up and she would respect like she wants to like y'all know what I'm saying it's kind of like she wants that and this is what I'm getting I could be completely wrong y'all but this is what I'm getting from the character that she wants somebody to 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 take charge and take lead and be a little aggressive like I said not abuse but be a little aggressive with her I don't see her fighting back or getting smart back getting aggressive back where I see it you know Spencer doing something like that now I'm also y'all I'm not saying this is on regular basis all the time now of course is it's a time for everything sometimes you do need a little talking like that you know what I'm saying and you know you you shut up and sometimes you don't but uh when Emily, for example, when Emily would uh, go into the woods and go after A, she is the only one out of this group who goes after A, by the way. She, it was, uh, I don't remember the episode, but it was a scene, Paige, Emily, they heard something in the woods. Emily started running in the woods. Paige is like, oh, no, I'm scared. She needs someone to goddamn throw her across the street and tell her to sit the heck down. She needs someone like that. If y'all understand what I'm saying, like, you could die. Sit down. You know what I'm saying? Like, she needs someone to check her. And I think Emily would like it. I think she would like it. Paige won't the one for that. Allison, I got, I got to do this for the, for the, um, for the, uh, what's they going for the, uh, hmm, what's they, what's they, uh, What's that name put together? I can't even remember. Uh, Emerson. Emerson. Man, what the heck is wrong with me? Okay, it's raining. I don't know. I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> but uh, Emerson. They are super sexy. And let me bring up an example. Remember 5, 420, 501. I think it's 501. Cece comes, takes Allison, Allison comes back, Emily is sitting up like that, uh, like that boyfriend or that jealous girlfriend, like, where you been? Where you been? You know, she's sitting up like that, and Allie's like, you know, <laughs> she put on the sexy voice, she was like, let me show you, you know what I'm saying, and she took her to the back, and that's the sexiest scene I've seen from them. I mean, F the kiss, F whatever. When she took her hand, because we all know Emily would be the dominant one in that relationship. We all know. Now, like I said, with the girls, it ain't as clear cut. But we all know. Like, let's let's keep it 100% real. We all know that uh, Allison's that type of girl. She Even though she's dominant, she plays like she's submissive. You know, she plays like, oh, I'm just this little cute girl. I'm I'm weak. She one of them girls. I can't pick this up. Can you pick it up for me? She's one of them. Even though she's very capable, she's very smart, all of that, but she plays that little game. She's good at games, as we know. So she would let, like I said, so she would let uh, Emily lead. When she took Emily's hand, like she took the lead. Oh, y'all can't say that one sexy. Gay, lesbian, not, straight, whatever, mixed, fluid, whatever you call yourself. <laughs> Y'all can't say that that was not sexy when she took her hand and led her to the back. And, and come on, come on, y'all. Don't have me preaching. When she looked back at her, come on, dog. Y'all can't say that, Mom. Y'all can't say it. Y'all can't say it. She looked back. She looked. Oh, I can't even stay on that. I can't. <laughs> but I like their relationship. I, I like their relationship. Um, other than the lying and stuff from Allie in the past and all of that. I, I really like uh, their relationship. So, yeah, y'all, that's that's pretty much it for the relationships. I've been talking for 20 minutes. I'm sorry this video is so long. I got caught up in all of this mess. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all have a beautiful day where I am. It is raining like crazy. Um, luckily, I love rain. I think rain is beautiful, calming, and all of that. If y'all have rain, I hope y'all are not gloomy and sad. I hope y'all are enjoying this beautiful rain. If y'all are in the sun, I hope y'all are, you know, going out and having fun. You know, I don't know. Have a good day, y'all. Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe.